YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's currently 7.30 in the fucking morning, bro. 7.30 in the morning. I ain't making YouTube in a while. I've been sick. I currently got work right now, so I'm getting up. Today's the day. Today is a motivation video, and it's officially September 4th, so I thought I'd give you guys a video. You'll either see it to end of tonight, or you'll see the video um, the second, the second or third. So yeah, that's when you guys see, most likely see the video. I've been sick for the last week and some change. So I look rough right now. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a video, man. I've been gone for a while, shit like that. I got work right now. I currently see you guys later after I get off at work. And then I'm gonna give y'all my story and a little bit of motivation, a bit of a vlog type shit. And then, yeah, y'all yeah, stay tuned, bro. I'll see y'all later, bro. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Shaw Benji, and I am now in the house. I told you guys, when I touch down in the house, we will get straight to the video. I had to go to work, got out, as you see. Today's video, like I told you guys, is a little bit of motivation. We're gonna take, I'm gonna give you my story. It's not about me, it's to, it's not about me, it's for what you can take from my story in progress, and you can apply it to your life. You might have it far worse than me, or had it far worse than me. Um, If you do, we'll talk about it during the video, so let's get straight to the point, bro. So you too. What's up, bro? Um. All right. So back in 2020, around 2019 to 21, 2021. Um. As you guys do not know, um, I think I posted on Instagram a few, like a once. I told a few people, but I don't let the world, you know, know my business is personal. But I'm not gonna go into detail about everything. But I'm just tell y'all, you know, what happened and how I got to where I am now. So back in 2019 to 2021, uh, I was homeless. I moved into this home, at this house I am now, in 2021, January 1st. People say I'm lucky. It is. It was a blessing. It still is a blessing. Um, part one, I had. We got kicked out for house problems. Um, we didn't get kicked out actually. We we had a house issue that um, a pipe bust in the house. Told the people, uh, like the people who own a, the place, they didn't want to help. They didn't want to help at all. They kept procrastinating. We had the firefighters and everything come check the house. The day of the flood, the water leaked through the floors, got into the walls, ceilings, um, cracks and everything. So it was pretty bad. It could have created mold and that can harmfully hurt someone. Um, my mother did not pay rent. Um, my mother did not pay rent for the simple fact because they weren't helping with anything at all. They wasn't trying to fix anything at all. So why would she pay for something and stay somewhere if she's not, you know, you know, taken care of? So, uh, so around September, we eventually got kicked out, evicted us because we wasn't we wasn't paying rent. We eventually moved to a friend's house. We did a little bit of move around hotel, this and that. I got in a relationship around the start of senior. Year. The start of senior year. So around the end around the end of October. I kept my business to myself. I wasn't gonna go around telling anyone I'm homeless. She didn't know I was homeless until a month later or two. Told her I was homeless. She accepted the fact of what I was and what I was going through. I said, okay, you know, I fell in love. Love is a dangerous game, bro. I don't, I wouldn't tell y'all not to love. I wouldn't tell y'all not to trust anyone. I would not tell y'all to do anything harmful to another person's soul at all. Stay good, I stand on being good. And they always say good guys finish last, which is true. But bro, just be who you are, bro. You don't gotta change because of anybody. Don't let no one change your character of who you are. We eventually broke up around around August, I believe, around August or June. We had, I had an issue with a couple of friends 
but I'm not gonna go into detail about it disrespecting me and I don't play around when it comes to respect. Respect means a lot to me and respect is all I have. And you know, loyalty is loyalty at the end of the day, bro. You don't cross loyalty no matter what it is. You don't waste that, you know. I expect it a lot from the people I hang around. You know, I hang around you, it's family, it's love. You don't cross that boundary, bro. So we crossed it, we fell out around the same time me and the girl broke up. After the breakup, I stood around like a dumbass. I know what you get off my dick, you know. Everybody go through their shit, bro. Um, I really, I was really a lover boy, bro. A, a lover boy, bro. So yeah, we broke up around. Uh, yeah, we. I lost a friendship and I lost a girlfriend. So I was deep in. That's the main fact. I kept telling myself around the time of why I stayed because, you know, it was the first time for everything, bro. So I stayed until like around my birthday, January 16th, 2021. Um, at that point, when I got the house. I told myself, you know, I had to realize who the fuck I was, bro. Like, I really had to realize who the fuck I was. You don't get it yet, do you? I just gave you opportunity of a lifetime, brother. And I'd be damned I'd be disrespected like this. Bro, when you lose yourself, don't blame yourself for losing yourself. Because at the moment, you won't realize that you lost something that so sacred you don't you would not notice regardless of what anybody tells you you can get advice you can get someone you love and get air telling you the right shit you're going to ignore it because the simple fact it, it blinds you bro love blinds you um trust blinds you and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you advance from that bro so i departed myself in that situation from the family from her so didn't worry. You know, I started working out, bro. Before the house, I was I was working out like a month ago. Before the, I was, bro, I was fat as fuck. If you see my pictures right here, I was fat as fuck, bro. You got this picture right here, bro. I was fat as hell, bro. I kid you not. Some of, some people may be, are you dragging it, bro? I was fat, bro. I, I lost myself. It wasn't good. And you want, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this now, bro. It's no limits to depression, bro. Don't let no one tell you it's a limited depression. It's more, it's no levels to being depressed, bro, at the end of the day. You don't sit there and judge someone, you know, you don't sit there and judge what the next nigga going through because, oh, he's not that sad. You can't be that sad. Dude, I did this. I didn't this thing. Like, you can't do that shit, bro. Everybody minds that it's different. Everybody is different. Everybody emotions is different. You just gotta learn how to deal with it, bro. I was deep in. I was on the. I was on the verge of harming myself. I'm not gonna use that word. I was on the verge of harming myself. Thank God I didn't. God, God came through. He put me and my family in a better position to live life how we want to. Last year it was um, a new experience for me, bro. 2021 was a new experience for me. With everything I've been through. Uh, I lost a lot, bro. I was homeless. Went through a heartbreak. Lost friends. I did it all, bro. I was down bad. And you know, it's like once you, when, once you're already falling and you have that one piece holding you together and that part, and that part gets removed and you just crumble. So that's the best way to explain what I was going through. So, um, yeah, 2021, got a home, met some new people in my life that I'm glad is here. Got a job, got my first job at 19. I always wanted to do YouTube, folks. Like I was in school, which I still am. I'm on break right now. I was in school. I, uh, I was working at, a, at this job I worked at um, for about three months, four months. Made a couple of money there, left. Some other situations started to happen, which I'm not gonna explain, which led me to quit that job. Found another job, now I work at the current job I work at now. I'm making a little bit of money. But now I wanna take YouTube more serious. I actually wanted to start something with my life. You know, I can't see myself working a nine to five. And don't get me wrong, a nine to five is good for anyone who's ready for that. Don't sit there and watch another man's life on YouTube or social media or anything, bro. All I can say is just keep grinding. If it's a nine to five, you're grinding that. Hey, bro, make your money, bro. If it's YouTube, if it's, you know, acting, anything, bro, grind. Wake up every morning and grind, bro. I'm still working on that, you know. I saw a quote that said, um, if you can go to work every day and work eight hours, it shouldn't hurt for you to go home and work on your dreams, bro. And that sticks with me. So once I read that, you know, it, it motivated me to more to do what I want to do now. My boy Casanet, he mentioned that, uh, boy Casanet mentioned that, do what you want so you can do what you can. And that also pushes me more to do what I want, bro. What's funny is, I'm now realizing that I said that shit backwards, bro. <laughs> I said that shit way backwards. What the fuck?
I see myself doing YouTube full time. Even though I do got two subscribers, I do see myself doing YouTube full time. So I'm gonna take a shot at it, you know. I put my time and faith in God's hand and you and you guys' hand also. I hope you, you know, do the same, bro. If you wanna do something, go do it now. Life is short, but life is what you make it at the end of the day. You wanna do this, go do it, bro. Don't sit there and stall. It happens, it's, you're, you're human, you know, it's normal. But get up and do it, bro. That's all you have to do, just get up and do it, you know. I woke up at seven in the fucking morning to record a video, bro. I didn't even brush my teeth, bro. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> but you get what I mean. Like, get up and do it, bro. It's not something. It's not easy, but it's not hard either. You know, you can't lose something you don't have yet. So, get up and get that. But keep it. You know, hold on to it, cherish it, have fun with it. You know, don't do it because you feel like, oh, you know, and put. You gotta enjoy it, bro. Put yourself in a better position. Think about the people that you want to put in a better position with you. You know, at the end of the day, take a break come back and you know do what you gotta do my nigga because there's some people who are not able to do what they can't do or laying in the hospital or, or or you know pass through life and regret not doing what they wanted to do but now you know, they're too old and you know even for the old people who's watching this right now you never too old to do what you want to do bro or what you want to do like if you want to do something go do it right now ain't nothing stopping you bro you ain't in a casket right now so you know what i mean do what you you know go ahead take a shot bro i eventually started working out I lost a few, I lost a lot of weight from the previous um, pictures, as you can see right here, and this is the old photo right here. So, yeah, I lost a lot of weight, bro. So, I thank God every day for waking up and able to do this um, and chase my dream, bro. Because it's not going to be easy, but I'm down for it, you know. Bro, just live life, bro. Life is what you make it at the end of the day. That's my story. I didn't go into deep detail. You know, I'm still improving. I will improve more. I will upload more. I am working on uploading more. I'm uploading a video tomorrow, actually. Another video is going to come out recent. recent. I'm going to start doing more vlogs. I feel like vlogging is for me. I'm going to start streaming soon. But y'all stay tuned for that. Um, we got a lot of good shit coming, bro. Just make sure y'all stay tuned, bro. I wish y'all good luck in life. God bless y'all. God bless your family. God bless your journey, bro. I wish the best for you and with whoever's around you. Do what you want. Just use. If you fail, get up, bro. Don't sit there. Don't lay down. Don't cry. If you gotta cry, cry. If you you gotta do this and that to get past it, you know, you know, it doesn't stay dark forever, man. Just don't let nobody cry you for what you got going on in your life, man. Yeah, that'll be it for this video, man. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys take what I said. I hope I was very helpful and very be able to help you guys in a way if not then i try bro i love you guys i love you guys um make sure you stay tuned for the second video that's coming out soon this video will drop on september 1st if not then september 2nd if i get busy for making another video then it will be dropping september 3rd out of, the, out of these three days just stay tuned bro that video will be coming soon like i said make sure you got subscribe button and i am out I told y'all niggas, bro. I told y'all I was fucking gonna start streaming now. Y'all wait and watch, bro. Streaming is coming soon. Y'all see what the fuck that say, man. All I need is me a camera, and then we good to go, bro. Y'all stay tuned, man.